Opening up today, it's another recap of the Vibrance London Film Festival, which presented us with the opportunity to catch up with filmmaker Jamil XT Quebeca, whose picture of good reports was part of the lineup. Caught in controversy in his homeland of South Africa, Quebeca's homage to film noir was almost banned from opening this year's Durban International Film Festival. But arriving now in London, we had our chance to make our own judgments on this shocking thriller. It's Tango is an ever-evolving dance form. It relies heavily on improvisation. The thing with um, Itango is. Um, of Good Report is um, my second feature film as a director. I like to call it um, a um, Little Red Riding Hood, but told from the wolf's perspective. Um, it's a basically a serial killer origin story. Yeah, um, it's a tongue-in-cheek, uh, very cheeky film. Uh, it's very dark, but really, it's it's about an an inadequate man, hell bent on satisfying his lust. He leads with strength. Give us a chew. And he leads with passion. Hey, slow down. <laughs> I was interested in, in creating an archetype a, uh, and the archetype I was trying to create was basically a, uh, a South African um, serial killer and um, in, with that in mind I ended up in a situation where I wanted to, to take very defined genres but then try to elevate them there's no such thing as a new idea. And what I wanted to do was um, take a universal language or use a universal language that most people can access, but then put it in, 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 a, in a unique context. And the unique context for me is, is South Africa. Internationally, um, people don't know that much about our country beyond Mandela and apartheid. So to take a universal story that could have been set anywhere, and put it into that local rural context, all of a sudden made the film fresh and uh, gave, gave us new perspectives and new ideas that we could flush out. It means God didn't do my answer. Can you help? Defy, take in the wardrobe. It's a good thing to do with long time we are full. The film was banned in South Africa because um, our film and publication board, which are the people that regulate um, the ratings of films in South Africa, they watched 28 minutes of a 104 minute film and after 28 minutes they decided that it constituted child pornography. Now I can't rationalize that for you because I find it completely irrational. If you've seen the film, there's nothing there that would constitute anything even remotely close to child pornography or any kind of pornography. Barring one scene at the end of the film, when he's when he, uh, our character, spoiler alert, is being beaten up by a policewoman, barring that one scene, all of the violence and all of the sex that is in the film is all suggested. It's all in your head. So if I'm trying to rationalize why uh, a member of the South African Film and, and, and Publication Board would look at this film and, co and say it constitutes child pornography, I'm thinking, what is in your head? You know, you as 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 as, uh, as a, a bureaucrat who's looked at my film and decided that it's porn. What is going on in your head? Because anyone who watches the film will say that's a joke. I was absolutely honored to win the uh, Artistic Bravery Award at the Durban Film Festival and also being the first recipient of the award. Um, Durban is my home artistically, I mean the Durban Film Festival, I'm not from Durban, but Durban Film Festival is my artistic home because that's where my career started. First time I screened in Durban was a good 10, 11 years ago. 
So to come back 10, 11 years later with a feature film was a real honor for me and a feature film that was opening the festival. A film like mine, as you said, as you've watched it, it's probably a relatively hard sell in terms of convention. It's an art house piece. However, though, it, it's garnered quite a lot of um, good reviews. So I hope in any form or way in terms of its genesis is that people will get the opportunity to see it because we make films for them to be seen. Hey, slow down. Almost sing at He's a hunter.